Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the land of the free and the home of the brave. We're here to spread some freedom, some democracy across this great nation, from sea to shining sea. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> okay, how did you guys find my American accent? Is it okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my best over here, man. Welcome. Welcome, everyone, to this the second series on this channel. And we'll be playing the amazing After the End mod. I haven't played this mod in, wow, well, five, five years. And then I noticed that apparently eight days ago they released another update, which is probably the final update for CK2. So this is brand new, <laughs> eight days old. We're going to play... The mod. So, for those of you who are not familiar with this mod, this post-apocalyptic mod. If you're playing in uh, 2666, in a uh, post-apocalyptic America. And, and it's great, there, there's so many fantastic details, but I'm not going to spoil everything uh, just yet. So, uh, we made a custom character in the town of Philadelphia. Philadelphia. And his name is, of course, the most famous inhabitant of Philadelphia, probably. Mr. Rocky Balboa. <laughs> I made a custom character. I made him uh, like Rocky. And I played, uh, I did a couple of setting up things uh, before recording, before setting the recording. So here we are. We're on the East Coast. We're near the Delmarva Peninsula. We're uh, near New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. It's gonna be fun doing all these stupid accents. <laughs> okay, I, I don't. I mean, I'm stupid. I don't mean the accents are stupid. <laughs> we got here the tiny country of Philadelphia. We are Rocky Balboa. We're a tough soldier. We're good at fighting. We're, we have a lisp. The Sylvester Stallone uh, famously has a drooling lip and a little bit of a little bit of a speech impediment. So of course we're gonna have that as well. We're slow, because Lord Rocky the character, slow guy. We're strong, because Rocky, you know, is strong. We're scarred, we've, we've been we've been in a couple of, of boxing matches, you know, with Apollo Creed. And uh, what's, what's that Russian guy's name? Ivan Drago. Those guys. <laughs> We're brawny, of course. You know, uh, it's uh, strong and brawny together, overpowered, maybe. But we I think we, we kind of balanced it by having also dull and slow. <laughs> So we're pretty good, good, pretty much good at martial and nothing else. <laughs> we're left-handed, of course, because uh, that's how Rocky was trained fighting boxing. If you guys remember that first movie, I, I think uh, Paulie, he uh, he trained uh, Rocky uh, to be left-handed. Uh, we are gladiator. Yeah, I saw this trait. I was like, I have to, I have to do this right. This character is trained as a gladiator in the arena. That's 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 that's, that's Rocky in a nutshell, you know. He's diligent, you know. He uh, he, f he worked hard to uh, to defeat Apollo Creed. You know, he, he did a lot of montages, running up uh, up the stairs <laughs> with his hands in the air. Uh, there's actually oh man, I'll see if I can find it. But I've actually been to Philadelphia, and we we we, we made a picture walking up these stairs with our hands like in the air. It's like a very long time ago. <laughs> so I, I will see if I can find that, and if I if I do, I will bring it up here. <laughs> I'm not even a huge Rocky fan, but you know. <laughs> uh, he's kind, he's honest, he's brave, of course, he's ambitious. He wants to beat be the number one heavyweight champion of the world. And he's stubborn, he doesn't give up. So this is him, Rocky Balboa. I also, also uh, prepared our council. We got Philip Ashburn, Frederick Wollaston, Patricius Stanfield, Ludovic, and Gary. Oh yeah, this, this guy. Uh... I think it might be actually, yeah. So there's this little Easter egg going on here in Philadelphia. I don't know if you guys knew that, but uh, if you guys watch the the series, uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, which I personally don't, but <laughs> I still think this is fun. We got Frank Reynolds, who is Danny DeVito, <laughs> in that show, and then we got Dennis, we got Dendra. <laughs> uh, this is uh, this is this is uh, D, I think, yeah. These are the, the, one of the characters in the show. And then I think Gary is also one of the characters in the show. But he also has very high learning, so I don't know how that works. <laughs> I, I made him my court chaplain. With all that, 
set up and ready to go, it's time to start. Let's see. First off, we're going to try to marry. Probably there won't be many claimants yet. No. We kind of want to marry for a claim, but I don't think that's possible. But let's find... Let's find our Adrian. Your Adrian. Your Adrian. It's been, it's been ages since I watched that movie. It's like... I think it's been like 15 years or something like that. Yeah, probably 13 years or so. Because when I, when I went to college... Oh, we got this girl, this girl Olivia. Uh, she is quick, attractive, master schemer, just deceitful, diligent, vicious. She's great. She's a bit old. She's 31. Is this a? Uh, is this also an Easter egg? Maybe. Olivia. Caught you in the Potomac. I don't know. But she's perfect. We're gonna marry her. Opinion of Colonel Colonel Rocky, our president, President Franklin. Oh yeah, so uh, that that's so maybe I will I will, I will show off this this, uh, this religious map mode first. It, it's fantastic, you know this mod. All the regions of America they have they have these sort of special religions. And there's like sort of the, the well, not not I I don't I don't think this is I don't know very much about religion in America, but I think evangelical that's like Southern Baptist, right? So that's uh, that's that's like a regular old Calvinism. With some, uh, some, some, uh, some, 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 some oddities uh, sprinkled in, you know. Uh, there's a big focus on the apocalypse in American uh, religion, I think, for example. Um, Revelationist is also uh, somewhat uh, Christian. Yeah, the trauma of the apocalypse and centuries of isolation and turmoil have led to great distortions in the faith, emphasizing the supernatural and miraculous, while forgetting the Holy Trinity altogether, replacing it with a vast and sometimes inconsistent pantheon of gods. One of the most prominent revelations deity is a serpentine god using living snakes. And so those are at least somewhat based in reality, but then there's also the crazy ones, like you have the rust cultists. Actually, gonna let this stick for a while. You have the rust cultists who live in the rust belt, and they uh, it's also very fun to play them. Olivia and Kona Rocky are getting married, yep. Uh, it's also very fun to play them, because uh, they sort of uh, look, look through the ruins of the old world. To find technology, uh, they, they kind of worship that. They're kind of like a cargo cult. They kind of worship uh, worship technology that they find. And then there's 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 the origin that we are, which is the I won't spoil the whole map yet. Which is the Americanist celebrate Thanksgiving. Ah yeah, we're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna cut up a turkey. Thanksgiving, we don't have it in, um, in the U.S. I think I talked about, the, talked about that before, actually. Over a millennium ago, the first freedom-seeking pilgrims arrived on the shores of this great nation. They were nearly wiped out in their first winter. But the first American his founder, Squanto, taught them how to properly cultivate the land. He planted the seeds of both their crops and Americanism himself. He must send out the invitations. Uh, Squanto, yeah, that's that's like the, the the Indian, right? That they met, I think. That's <laughs> quite funny. Uh, at least that, that's what I heard. Is that um, uh, the, the, sometimes Americans they, they think like the Pilgrim Fathers fathers were the first settlers, but when they arrived in America, this Squanto guy he came up to them and he said, "Do you have some booze in English to them?" <laughs> Because uh, before before the Pilgrim Fathers arrived, they arrived in the, I think the 1620s or so. Before that, there was the colony of Jamestown, which was I don't know quite where it was. Somewhere in Virginia. Somewhere here, I think. Plymouth Rock. Now that, that that's where the Pilgrims were. But um, but that had that had, that had that had been there since 1607, and before that, there had been a bunch of English explorers already on in this area, like trading furs and stuff like that. So they, they didn't they didn't really arrive in 100% virgin land these uh, these pilgrim fathers although you know I also think that a lot of people sort of treat that that factoid as kind of an oh gotcha you know the pilgrims weren't that important but they were they were very important they uh, maybe not this this first boat of pilgrims specifically but the, the pilgrims they they launched a huge influx of people in the first 30 years or so like 30,000 people arrived from uh, from England so it really it really grew then uh, Colonel Olivia of Philadelphia that's my wife right yeah I claims that she would be a better spy master I think she would 30 
Pretty intrigue, yep. You are now my new spy master, Olivia. Uh, the Thanksgiving dinner has begun in earnest. As is tradition, guests casually dine on appetizers before a fat turkey is slaughtered, cooked, and stuffed to act as a main course. After a brief prayer, thanks to <laughs> prayer of thanks to the Founding Fathers for America's great bounty, you and your guests eagerly dig in. Yeah, so I should explain this maybe. Praise the Founders! <laughs> the dinner lasts well into the night, but it eventually comes to an end. As your stuffed and drowsy guests stumble home, you can hear them murmur that this dinner was especially filling. Praise the Founders! Yeah, we got 75 prestige and 75 patriotism! Yeah, okay, Merc. <laughs> Merc, we love Merc, right? That's yeah. So I, I was I was in the process of explaining this. Like, this is like an, a religion in this game, which is sort of uh, yeah. It's actually a thing. American civil religion. Uh, it, it's sort of uh, they, they they treat the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence as like holy documents, and then they treat the founding fathers uh, as as like a sacred figures. So you see it there. God names the founders: Washington, Jefferson, the flag, Adams, and then Lincoln, Uncle Sam. <laughs> The red coats, <laughs> the traitors, fascism, and communism. <laughs> Feel my red. Oh, I'm sick of always being kind to everyone. Feel my red. Okay, I'm not. I'm no longer kind. Too bad. Yeah. So this is. It's like a cult uh, of the founding fathers, and it, it makes sense, you know, because I've been to Washington, and you know, as as a Dutch person, we we, we tend not to be very patriotic. Uh, we are getting. We are a bit more patriotic in recent years, but this whole. Uh, Deep in the woods of Philadelphia. Close to Philadelphia. Gee. <laughs> there stands a log. Oh. Deep in the woods of Philadelphia. Close to Philadelphia. There stands a log cabin made of earth and wood. In it lives a country boy who can play the guitar. just like a ring and a bell. Go, go. Many people come from miles around. To hear him play the music while the sun goes down. It would certainly be good if such a troubadour savant joined your court. Entertaining your guests with the rich musical sounds of the old world. I hope he knows the standards. There are more important matters to attend. No, 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 we're going to invite him, right? Timothy? No, no, Johnny, come on. Johnny, be good. Where is he? Is he, uh... Is he here somewhere? Timothy. Yeah, here he is, musician. No, he's not very good otherwise. <laughs> Welcome, Timothy. You live in a log cabin made of earth and wood. Uh, at court, a discussion of the old philosophers wends its way down to the topic of the American dream. Many riders who lived before the calamity rode on the topic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of love doing an American accent, so you're going to hear more of my my, my American accent on occasion. Uh, many riders who lived before the calamity rode on the topic. A few of their profound works survive today. The courtiers all have their own unique opinion on the subject. As the discussion winds down, one of them asks for your view. Many eyes turn to you with eager anticipation. A life in service of Uncle Sam. To live a good and simple life with family and friends. To seize the lands of my enemies in glorious combat. The dream is dashed. The old riders are fools. What would Rocky Balboa say? <laughs> I think the second one. To live a good and simple life with family and friends. That, that sounds like him. Okay, I don't think he gained anything from it. Oh, he became kind again. That's, that's him, right? He's, he's not really mega patriotic, right? He's, he's more kind of... I, he, he does he does believe in the American dream I think Rocky does I think that that's kind of what the movie is also partially about like a very uh, jihad for Florida <laughs> okay <laughs> the orientalist Grand Sultan Wyman has decided to declare jihad on the depraved heathens in the kingdom of Florida what terrible news where is he Sun Coast oh yeah this is this is pretty great actually that I, I could talk about this mod for hours <laughs> <laughs> this is this is fantastic. This, this guy, this is like, oh, uh, open council, attorney general, attorney general. Uh, Oli Oliver, Dutch of Chester. I should we find like a scholar? Invite holy man. Sure. Ogilvy Bags. Sure. Ogilvy, welcome. You can be my attorney general. That's like uh, the prosecutor, right? I think so. We need to proselytize. Now we can improve religious relations with uh, the president, President Franklin. Um, what do I'm missing? Commanders. Uh, Auto assign. 
Yeah, this is like this guy. He's Muslim, but he's like, yeah, you can't can read it. It's like uh, centuries of isolation, yada, 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 yada. Distortions in the faith. Uh, they say, like, yeah, God, God names Allah, Muhammad, Alibaba, <laughs> the Crescent, Aladdin, and <laughs> Al Qadir. It's like, yeah, because they're next to Disneyland, right? Yeah, this is also great. But I won't spoil that, but you can see it already kind of by this the shield. What what this guy is. <laughs> the mouse. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing, this mouse. It's fantastic. Alright, but we have to kind of... Yeah, so this, these first few years, so that's why probably I'm talking also a lot. Because these few first few years, you know, they're going to be a bit boring. Because we, we cannot really gain any claims. Uh... Uh, without our chancellor, so we will have to wait for him. My son was born to Philip Ashborn and Sarah Zap. Uh, this is my uh, second. Yeah, so I married off all my uh, all my, uh, my my council members. I'm gonna marry this guy off also. Actually, I can marry this this girl. She's rust cultist. That's great. Throughout the day, you've caught yourself grinding your teeth and being unable to focus on anything for long. Suddenly, you realize why well, you've been in a bad mood all day. You just can't seem to abide having lazy people in your presence anymore. I'm going to be less slot when I'm around. He's great. Gary. We can actually make him... Yeah. Why aren't you my... Uh, my Attorney General, man? We married you off, even. The Honorable Colonel Rocky. Blessings upon you and your house. I accept the suggestion that Ogilvy and Ola get married. <laughs> Look at this art. Yeah, this the Rust Cultists are great. They're just... Yeah, they 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 look uh, they 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 also have like guns etc in their inven inventory. My studies and training have let me have taught me that the general tactics of flank and center, but I can hardly master everything. I'm Rocky, right? So I'm gonna say, oh yeah, I will be a direct leader. I'm charging into battle. Jihad fills already. Yeah, but there's almost no uh, members of his faith. That makes sense. I think he's the only quote unquote Muslim in the whole world. <laughs> Shipping a lot in. Excommunicated? Dude, why? Why though? Can we sway him? No, it's not. Why are you excommunicating me, man? I must repent of my sins. Well, what sins, man? I don't have any sins. Issue declaration of repentance. Yeah, sure, why not? What you talking about, man? I'm Rocky. What you talking about, man? Take a note of your passionate plea, and we are certain that you will be eager to prove the sincerity by paying the proper price. 250 gold. Do we care? Minus 5 diplomacy. Yeah, minus 15 opinion. That's pretty bad. On the other hand, we have no vessels, per basically, right? Mm, yeah. Let's wait. Maybe, uh... Oh, he's gone again. We want to uh, we want to sway him, right? We want to we want to increase his opinion of us first a little bit. Oh, great! My leash, my work in Wilmington seems to have come to fruition by bribing, cajoling, extorting, and threatening, and forging documents. I've managed to fabricate a claim on the post of Wilmington, held by Mayor Fitzwilliam of Wilmington. Fitzwilliam Crossland. <laughs> Use it, yes. What is his army like? Five thirty. What are what is our army like? One. 0.4k, yeah. Although he's oh he's he's, he's a vessel. This guy's 1.5k. And we're yeah we didn't marry really for an alliance. <laughs> it was not very smart in hindsight, but I think we should should still be able to handle it by ourselves if we're, if we're quick about it. Let's do it. Let's just try it. Claim in Wilmington. First war of the of the series. There we go, 1400. And now we have to be quick. Uh, who is our war commander? Sarah. Sarah Zappa. She, uh, family of uh, Frank Zappa. Probably right. We can leave my flank here. And Carol. Carol Kelly. He is also, I think, uh, always sunny in Philadelphia character. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the bastard son of Frank. Well, I don't I don't know anything about, <laughs> about oh, it's always sunny, but I guess... Uh, I guess uh, Danny DeVito has uh, has a bastard son in that. Okay. Okay, guys, let's go. Oh yeah, we we have to uh, make a new claim. Let's see where, where would we do that. Colombia is the kingdom we want, right? So we can just go here, right? Yeah. 
Wilmington. 115. Here we go. I think, I think, because he's, oh, he's not attacking over river. But I think we should still be able to win. There's Rocky. You heard me. Don't attack uh, Colonel Nicholas. You know, he, he can punch us like down like 1500 times and we'll always get up, you know, that's, that's Rocky, right? Yeah, uh, you can punch him so as many times as you like and he never goes down, never gives up. Oh, another thousand. I could have sworn I heard the enemy commander by the other, yeah? Spotted cowering in the, f in the far back behind a large rock. I've been itching for a fight. I want to let everyone know of his cowardice. Uh, yeah, let's take him. Imprison him, yeah. I will be. I will imprison you. You can use the money, right? Hello, sir. Ransom. Another big battle. Here we go. We, we already. We already are surrounding him. Ninety-six. Uh, that's that's really not much. <laughs> okay, Wilmington. We're gonna besiege it. We besiege Wilmington. Anyone from Wilmington in the comments? Let me know. And I'm from Philly, Philadelphia. Yeah, so I, I was there. You have like the Liberty Bell there, right? Is that here? Atlanta e Liberty Bell, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things. Where as a Dutch person, when I look at that kind of stuff, I'm like, <laughs> like, the, the, we're, uh, our, our people were way too cynical for stuff like that, you know? We kind of just awkwardly laugh at it. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 you know, it's fine, but. The, this this stuff and also like walking around in Washington like this temple of the Department of Agriculture you know <laughs> and then then Lincoln which who has like like a like a god statue in like a huge columned hall even though he's like a president right so he's not he's not yeah <laughs> so it's a little bit silly to me usually but I don't want to insult anyone you know I don't I don't feel above it or anything but yeah it's it, it, to a Dutch person culturally it, it's it's very strange to see. Because we are just not that patriotic. You know, we, we, historically we couldn't really afford to, because we were a tiny country. So we couldn't really fight anyone anyway. Uh, we've uh, captured Melanie. Let's go, we can liberate our capital here. Philadelphia. Liberty Bell, yeah, I was talking about Liberty Bell. This crack Liberty Bell has a history as old as America itself. Yeah, it cracked, I think. Um, yeah, it, it cracked when the War of Independence was started, the American War of Independence. It cracked at some, like, uh, some uh, supposedly cracked uh, precisely when, I don't know, the Constitution was signed or some kind of big, big thing. Atlantic Line. Oh, that's a trade zone? Cool. We can uh, build a trade post here, I guess. That's already here. Uh, what is the trade zone? Yeah, yeah, okay, we should maybe uh, uh, do an embargo war, because uh, I kind of want this trade post. So the trade post spent a lot of money. 86%. We're almost ready to win our first war. 86. Okay, I guess we have to uh, see something else. That's fine, I think uh, you won't replenish uh, soon enough for uh, for him to be a threat to us. So we have some time to uh, to siege Edge Edgemore, Philadelphia. What what else is here? Havertown, Court of Chester. Perfect. County of Bryn Mawr. Great. If any of you guys recognize any of these names, let me know. Huh? <laughs> if you want me to have a look at your uh, your hometown, <laughs> see if we can find it. I don't mind doing that. Uh, enforce the demands. Yep, yeah, post to Wilmington. Thank you very much, my good man. We already doubled in size. Keep it up, Rocky. Keep it up. Never surrender, man. Dogmatic. Uh, can we now? Yeah, the duchy. We, can we are already a duchy. Very nice. We lost almost all our money in that, but luckily we uh, we ransomed that one guy. You want some this girl? Mm, can we recruit her? No, I guess not. Okay, well, we'll, we'll release her. You in my court? Yeah, you are. Okay. Okay, we can marry you off, maybe. 
Do you have any uh, Gary's married? Olivia is my wife. Hi, Olivia. Uh, Patricius, he's married, right? Stanfield, he's got a broken Liberty Bell. Yeah, so my uh, my, my coat of arms, right? I was gonna do a, a, a horse, like because he's the Italian stallion. But uh, I th that you, you cannot find a horse uh, in this mod, that's too bad. We can imprison this guy, he hates us. Fired from council, oh yeah. Mm, what is his plot? Kill Colonel Rocky. No prison man. Execute. Mm, or banish. I'm pretty kind, right? We'll banish him. We'll banish, uh, banish that ale. Do -do -do -do. So here is uh, the president's land. Now in this mod, there's like a mechanic. There's like a presidential election. So when this guy dies, there will be an election and you can run also. If you're an Americanist, you can run for it. You can become president and it's like uh, being the Pope. And call crusades and stuff like that. Very fun. There's a bunch of societies as well with Ivy League. <laughs> We got uh, the Bankers Guild, the Man in Black, Society of the Cincinnati, what's that? This band of warriors. I mean, we gotta join that, right? We are like the perfect warrior. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Count William of Iredell of the Society of, of the Cincinnati. Reach me with a brief note. Another recruit, eh? To join our ranks, you need to prove yourself, boy! The man says gruffly, folding his arms around his chest. He'd be fat in one of our own. Still interested, my lord? I'll gladly fight to prove myself. What's it? The Man of Warriors is it? Uh, legend has it that their first leader was George Washington. Before the event, the society could only be joined by direct descendants of the legendary heroes who fought the Redcoats. But now any worthy Americanist may join its ranks. That's good, because I'm not de descended from uh, any of the pilgrims, right? I'm uh, Rocky, I think, canonically is Italian. Um, even though Balboa is, I think, in Spain. So it <laughs> doesn't make really very much sense, but... Count William of Iredell and the Society of Cincinnati have chosen Mercedes as my opponent. Middle-aged woman eyes me up and down when we are introduced. Fresh meat, eh? Fresh meat, eh? She offers mockingly before shoving an elbow into my side, making everyone laugh. Demonstration match, eh? <laughs> man, we're gonna beat you. Look at our skills, man. We are like the best duelist ever. <laughs> as the duel begins, Mercedes comes at me slowly. I offer her my best taunting smile. It does not take long before I have seen I have seen to swing my dull spear in a perfect half circle, calling it to fall backwards with a surprised huff. I take it I win this fight. What can we do? Celebrate Thanksgiving again. Yeah, I know, of course. Of course, of course. I am told you did not receive a single scratch during your initiation. That's the kind of impressive commander we would be honored to have sitting at our table. Great. We're gonna do another Thanksgiving feast. And uh, eat some more turkey. Judge Somerset has refused your invitation. Ah, oh, man. You dick. You dick. Thanksgiving dinner has become an earnest. Yep. Yeah, okay. We're not gonna go through all the events uh, every time. Burk. Members of Society of Cincinnati, we strive to be better to better ourselves and each other. One way is the occasional sparring match. Seek out and duel the officer Neil. You will find him in the Everglades. Okay, we're gonna be going to the Everglades. Okay. That's like a swamp, right? A friend of mine, he went to Florida and he, he, he drove one of those like river boats through the Everglades. It was, uh, he showed me some, 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 some movies he made. It looked great. There were like alligators everywhere. <laughs> um, duel? Why can we not duel you? Duelers have not been recently in a duel. Yeah, we have, I guess. We, uh, we fought a duel uh, to, to get into the society. So we will wait for that. Sarah Zappa, we can imprison. Kill Ogi Ogilvy Bex. Kill my uh, my courtier. Please don't do that. Please don't do that, uh, Sarah. Sarah Zappa. Philip Ashbourne's uh, wife. Ashbourne, he was the original ruler of uh, Philadelphia. I don't know if if it's an Easter egg or something. If, if any of you guys know who this who this man is, if he's anything special, let me know. Do, 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 do. Uh, upon returning from a small raid in my personal guard, I've been talking to Major Michael of Sussex. The man does not understand the urge for adventure whatsoever. 
What about the prosperity it brings your tribe? I argue, showing off a new bracelet decorating my arm. He sighs, seemingly unimpressed. Oh, I could help you hone that ambition, Michael. Sure, we can uh, we can help him. Uh, Mayor Michael agreed that he need my, that he needs my help in order to make him see things differently. We're going to be educating ourselves on the famous Delawarean warriors <laughs> and their historical achievements. Delaware is like the most uh, anonymous state in all of US, right? I mean, Rhode Island is at least notable for being the smallest state. <laughs> Delaware, that's like, I don't know anyone from Delaware. Not that, that, not that that's very strange, because I know only like five Americans anyway. <laughs> um, I'll bring my collection of sigils. Let's not get carried away. No, let's not get carried away. We, uh, we're we not going to pay a ton to make him ambitious, right? Ah. My fellow member of the Society of the Cincinnati and I are back from our final session with the scribes. Any traces of his initial reluctance are gone, and I'm proud to be able to compliment him on how well he handles the experience. Thank you for this opportunity, Rocky. <laughs> he says, more heartfelt than expected. Okay, we're going to make him a special character. We, um, yeah, we, 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 we imprisoned him, right? Yeah, we fought him. And, and then we imprisoned him, and now he's our friend, so that's good. If uh, if we conquer his land, we can uh, we can keep him as a vessel. Red, white, and blue of the Dutch flag, because this is still uh, well, maybe just it's, it's on the edge. But sort of this area was uh, was new in Netherlands. And it was only for about fifty years that it existed. That it was uh, centered on uh, New New Amsterdam, but I guess uh, most of you guys know that. Uh, Mission to Washington has so far been success. The president likes me more. You want to lift my excommunication yet, uh, bro? I guess not. I have to repent of my sins, but I don't want to pay him 250 gold. <laughs> Americanist pilgrimage. Ah, oh, we're gonna we're gonna do that soon. We'll wait to have a bit more money. Um, has the lefty race too long? Okay, that's gonna go away by itself. The boy, can we duel you? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Oh, he's a good duelist, actually. We might struggle here. Chief Neil of Canaveral. Cape Canaveral. Ah, okay. Secretary of State of the Mouse. <laughs> he said Cape Canaveral. That's where the, the space shuttles are, are launching from, right? There's a great museum there. Um, Chief Neil, yep. Okay, the duel will take place in a few days. Ah, we win. Great. That was actually a lot closer than I thought. As the duel begins, Chief Neil Canaveral comes at me slowly. Yada yada yada. I win this fight. 200 renown. Great. Great, great, great. We are, we are advancing fast in this society. Which makes sense, you know, we're Rocky Balboa. <laughs> we're gonna be good at fighting. That's like the one thing we're good at. Survivor is also pretty good because you have a big chance of dying in a battlefield. We can appoint shield maidens. Can we appoint our wife as a shield maiden? I guess not. Let's see if... Uh, oh, oh, which actually... <laughs> there is one person we could appoint as a shield maiden. Which I'm definitely gonna do. Which is... Uh, oh, where is she? Is she not here anymore? Yeah, here. <laughs> D. D. Reynolds. Hello. <laughs> oh, we cannot do it, I guess, yet. Ah, oh, too bad. We might be able to do it later. After the duel, Chief Neil of Canaveral asked me for advice on fighting. A little taken aback. I happily offered to train with him on occasion. Today he thanked me for being a good teacher and friend, he adds, dunking me on the back before he cocks his head in the direction of the sparring grounds. Again, why not, brother? Wedding friendship. Rocky, he's making he's making friends, you know. It makes sense. Rocky is a likable guy. American is pilgrimage. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, right, let's see who my, who my regent is first. I'm gonna make our wife uh, our regent, right? Olivia. Beltway. Mid-Atlantic, yeah. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> uh, the time has come for you to undertake an epic pilgrimage to the five Americanist holy cities. Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Washington, and Richmond. First, you must prepare for the journey. And on second thought, now is better. I need nothing but the clothes on my back. Yep. I can be appointed as your regent. Yep, my wife. Good luck managing the kingdom while I'm away. Pilgrimage to Boston. In times gone by, Boston was known as a center of learning for its many universities and libraries. Yep, that's uh, Harvard and MIT, right? They're both in Boston. Some of the ancient tomes from these libraries have found their way into the private collection of patriotic Americanists. 
music knowledge, surely founder Adams and father founder Hancock will look favorably upon you as you visit the holy sites of the hub. The natives you see along the road are sporting their traditional red stockings. Well, you don't know what that means. Is that, uh, is that like a, a baseball reference or something? We have John Adams and we have John Hancock. John Hancock is famous for writing a very large signature on the Declaration of Independence. And John Adams is uh, is famous for, yeah, he's, he was the president for a while. Um, the holy city is ruled by Chief Lazarus, an infidel of the occultist faith. It may be difficult to get his permission to continue your pilgrimage. Forcefully demand that he allows you to enter. Um, yeah. In the name of Chief Lazarus will take your head now. 30% oh, chance of dying. Oh no. Not without a fight. You are unable to complete your difficult journey. Uh, did anything happen to us? No, it doesn't look like it. You are unable to defeat to, to, to complete the difficult journey of your pilgrimage. Perhaps your descendants could attempt the pilgrimage again and wash away the stain of your failure. I'm ashamed my dynasty. Am I cynical? I am. Hmm. That doesn't sound like Rocky. That doesn't sound like him. But I mean, we're gonna we're gonna stick to it. Uh, this kind of sucks. <laughs> we should have we should have done something else other than than try to fight him. It wasn't smart. But you know, Rocky is not smart, I guess. Secretary of State. Uh, you guys are all terrible. <laughs> See if we can find someone else, because we need to uh, fabricate those claims. Yiddish. Chomsky. Chomsky. Noam Chomsky. Oh, he's not in here. Uh, this guy is 17. They're all rust, rust cultists. Invite to coins. Can we not send you a gift? Oh, we cannot pay the 15 gold. Okay, we'll wait for a while. A little bit bummed that <laughs> we built the pilgrimage, but yeah, maybe next time. It's not a big deal. Uh, but it, it is fun, the pilgrimage. It's, uh, you go past all these, like, American, uh, like, you go past New York and Washington, and it's like flavored text for every, every single thing. It's very nice. Anyway, too bad. Um, actually, so, I think we're recording now for, uh, well, over half an hour, so... I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be playing after the end for the next couple of episodes. I'm, I'm, I haven't decided really yet what our goal is. I think uh, at least medium term we want to become the king of Colombia, right? And after that, let's see. Uh, I I don't I don't think this series will be as long as the Dukes of Holland. Probably it will be less episodes, but uh, let's see. So uh, I I'm I'm kind of excited to see what this mod has. Uh, has to offer and what it, what it has has gained since uh, since I last played it like five or ten years ago, <laughs> five years ago probably. Um, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. You know, uh, let me know uh, in the comments uh, what you thought of it and if you uh, if you have anything uh, to recommend for me or uh, anything you would like to see, uh, let me know. I always love to hear from you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. And see you in episode 2 of the series. Goodbye.